What is Lord of the Rings? The Rings of Power actually based on, and does the story pull from any books by Middle-Earth's creator, J.R.R. Tolkien? When Peter Jackson decided to make cinematic history by turning The Lord of the Rings into a trio of movie masterpieces, he faced a daunting task that many directors before had deemed impossible. While translating Tolkien's most famous novels into a convincing live-action trilogy was undoubtedly a tall order, Jackson's quest was clear. Adapt three mammoth fantasy movies from three mammoth fantasy books. He then did something similar with The Hobbit but spun out a single book into a trilogy of movies. Peter Jackson adapted The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King directly. Even with certain embellishments from wider Tolkien lore, and, indeed, creations of his own, Jackson's The Hobbit trilogy still pulls predominantly from Tolkien's book of the same name. Amazon's upcoming TV series, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, however, isn't a direct Tolkien adaptation. The Rings of Power draws from several Lord of the Rings texts to tell the story of a specific point in Middle-earth's history. Peter Jackson also isn't involved, but that's not why Amazon's new LOTR show takes a different approach. The Rings of Power is taking what are, essentially, Tolkien's world-building ideas and deep lore Middle-earth books like The Silmarillion, many of which he never intended to flesh out into full stories, and turning them into a tangible narrative for the small screen. The Rings of Power shall cover the ending of the Second Age of Middle-earth. This period has been glimpsed on screen before, in the Lord of the Rings flashback scenes depicting the final battle between Sauron and the Alliance of Men and Elves. As the title suggests, Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power tells the story of Sauron's ascendancy to the Dark Lord of Mordor, forging the Rings of Power, and, most importantly, the creation of the One Ring. J.R.R. Tolkien has written in broad strokes about these events and how they fit into the Middle-Earth chronology, but never before has Middle-Earth's Second Age been explored with the same level of personal character-driven intimacy as the events of the Third, i.e. The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. This is all set to change with Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power though, which will for the first time show the rise and fall of Sauron in the Second Age from the perspective of the people of Middle-Earth, rather than as a deep yet detached synopsis of historical events. Here's everything you need to know about how Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power is adapting J.R.R. Tolkien's writing, including the infamously difficult-to-read Silmarillion, 